Today, we'll be creating a film burn slash light leak effect directly in Premiere Pro without any add-ons. So here it is. Okay, so first things first, you have your clips that you want to transition between. Now what you're going to do, you're going to go to the middle, add a new adjustment layer, okay. Drag the adjustment layer on. So we want this to last about two seconds. So what I'm going to do is shift left arrow three times to go 30 frames and back the other way, one, two, three, cut. And now you have your adjustment layer over two seconds of footage. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to go to effects, arithmetic, boom, go to effect controls. Okay, set the operator to slice, bring all these up to 255, keyframe, shift right arrow over 10 frames, drop the red value down to zero, bring the green value keyframe up to the second red value keyframe, we're going to shift right arrow once more. Now set the green value down to zero, bring the blue value all the way up to the green value, shift left arrow, and bring that down to zero. The screen should be white. Now what I want you to do is shift right arrow, bring the blue value back up to 255, copy the green value zero keyframe, copy that above the blue value, shift left arrow, bring green value back to 255, copy the red value zero keyframe, shift left arrow, and bring the red value all the way up to 255. And let's watch that back. Awesome. So there's a couple more things we need to do to make this, you know, blend. First what we're going to do is we're going to set the blend mode to screen. Now a lot of these work. A lot the ones that are in between lighten and lighter color work for this. I like screen personally. Let's watch that back. And there we have the film burn effect. So it's a little rough around the edges, but it's got a nice flash of light. Now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of smooth this out and make it more of a lens flare or a light leak effect. So you're going to go effect, Gaussian blur, drag that on, effect controls, and this is totally up to you. It's, you know, total preference. You can blast it. You should have repeat edge pixels on. You can blast this all the way up to, you know, a thousand and have a really faded light leak. Or you can, you know, you know, do something like 20 and just smooth that out a little bit. So you see a little bit more of the, the highlights and the shadows disappearing. I'll show you. Yeah, that's, that's throwing it up, bringing it back down. So I kind of like something like that, something in between. If you want a different color, you add color balance, HLS, drag that on, effect controls, and mess with the hue. You know, maybe you want a bluish green light leak. It's actually pretty crazy. I like that a lot. Maybe you want purple red one. So there's all different ways you can customize this to your liking. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks. Today we will be creating a film burn. There. Today we will be. Today we will be creating a film burn. Burn. Film burn. Today we will be creating a film burn. Why can't I say that?